Hi, uh, this is Sambhu Sama, Assistant Professor at Science College of Technology and the Department of Mechatronics Engineering. So now I would like to uh, welcome you for the another session. Now today we are going to discuss about uh, you know, what is the smart materials and how it has been in the historical perspective. And uh, everybody knows the smart materials plays a vital role in the industry purposes. But how it has been an important in mechatronics based applications, right? So normally you have to know that mechatronics is a blended course uh, integrated of mechanical, electrical, electronics and uh, instrumentation. So during this process, uh, the emerging smart materials plays a vital role. So these vital roles makes uh, how the impact of the materials has been uh, given the based on the applications are uh, discussing in the middle of now. So first of all, we are going for the introduction right arm. Um. So as said that uh, the materials is a mixture of substances and then which is always an object. Um. So the materials can be impure or impure, living or non-living matters which used for a design to the various shapes uh, and, and uh, these are differenti differentiated based on their physical and chemical properties and also on their geological origin or biological functioning. This is how the materials has been classified. Normally the material cycle, uh, everybody knows that how, what is the material cycle. Like the existing uh, raw materials is an important key factor. Then once you have uh, drawn, the bulk, uh, creating a bulk materials, uh, the components or devices will be an easy for you to take sense. So as I said that earlier in the uh, cycle is represents the how the manufacturing engineering materials are converted into and fabricated products and systems. Once these, those things has been happened, the service of the products and the systems are uh, developing uh, each day by day. And one, it has been, uh, once it has been done, there is uh, some sort of uh, recycling or disposal of the unused materials, uh, which results in the economical conditions of the particles so th this is how the materials has been so some of the materials are classified based upon the straight uh, by look or feel or so the substance which are more reflective or metallic like looking like structures um, and the materials to have been conventionally grouped into in basic classifications uh, so the basic classifications is uh, metals polymers, ceramics, and composites. So do you know that metals is the metals is nothing, nothing but uh, which has the properties of hard, ductile, conductive heat, and the electricity. Uh, so example for this type of metals are in copper wires, which is easily in electrical conductivity and stainless steel curtain. These are the examples for that. When you go for the polymers, you um, might have understood that the polymers are uh, widely variable and often soft, and they are flexible in nature. and uh, the most uh, the commonly used materials uh, of polymers are polystyrene uh, we, uh, which are, we are normally used for the cups uh, right um, and polycarbonate uh, which is nothing but a series which we are using for the copy of the data and transferring the data um, and polyethylene plastic bags this is the plastic bags which is normally we have used in the supermarket levels uh, to make the show that the particles are evenly poisoned and they are uh, taken into without any uh, distractions uh, and finally becomes a ceramic right? the ceramic materials is normally possess the various categories and important in the day to day life uh, where they are using right uh, hard and they are brittle Normally, they are resistive to corrosions, which are used in the as a tile, ceramic tiles we are using in the home applications. And they should not be an electrically non conductive in nature because if, if you are using as a tiles or something else, uh, using as a material slabs, uh, it makes if they are in electrical conductivity, when we touch, we are bound to an electrical shocks. Uh. So, in order to reduce those, uh, the electric, non electrical conductivity should be. The example for this type of um, ceramics are concrete buildings uh, where we normally, as I said, we are normally using then floor tiles, um, piezoelectric transducers, uh, which are used, normally used in the ultrasonic transducers, where the, it is, um, uh, there is a minimum of non conductive electricity in nature. Uh, and uh, proacrylic vases, steel cups, these are also made upon by using this kind of uh, materials. Uh, this is how the materials has been emerging trends. Uh, these materials used in the mechatronics application to uh, understand that how it has been a place in major vital load in the aircraft industries as well as in the mechatronics based industries in the development of products the development of uh, materials and uh, how they are smart applications are used like uh, fridges washing machines and electrical controller devices the fans which are normally used uh, using the remote control of using ir rays um, 
these are the some of the things often they are used in the materials so as i said earlier then uh, it is an important thing uh, where we have to understand the basic concepts of uh, emerging technologies especially in the terms of materials and some other things so using this concept or uh, basic knowledge about that we can able to understand what is the important factor in this process so i like to continue the session in the next video about how it has been developed and how it has been uh, yeah, devised into a different type of categories and grouped into according to their nature and the properties are going to discuss in the later videos uh, thank you for watching the video and uh, we will be continuing to the next session till then bye bye